The Prime Minister of the Netherlands has issued an apology on behalf of his government for the country's role in slavery and the slave trade. Mark Rutte gave a 20-minute speech to a small audience at the National Archive in The Hague. But critics are unhappy with the timing of the announcement. Reporter Rosie Burchard is in Brussels with more on the apology and the concerns. The room was almost silent as Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte delivered this historic speech about a very dark chapter in Dutch history. He said simply, today I apologise. He went on to say that the Dutch state had enabled and stimulated and profited from slavery for centuries. Now, he said that while no single person bears responsibility for that today, he said that the Dutch state does bear responsibility for the immense suffering inflicted on those who were enslaved and their descendants. Now, for some context here, between the 17th century and the 19th century, Dutch merchants did indeed traffic hundreds of thousands of people from Asia and from Africa and enslave them in the former, col the former Dutch colonies in uh, South America and in the Caribbean. So while an apology is a nice gesture, it does not compare to cash reparations. So here's what you have to keep in mind. And I know that most of you are too young to remember this. My analytics show that most of you are under 30. But the Dutch government, the U.S. government, and the other governments benefited greatly from free slave labor for centuries. The descendants of those slave owners are benefiting from what the slaves did centuries ago. Do you feel me? You follow me? Money is the great equalizer around the world. When you have to cough up billions or trillions, it hurts your pocket. So I am confident that reparations will be paid to descendants of slaves, at least in America. It's just a matter of time.